Hi, I'm Darren with Utah Helicopter. This is Kyle Victor. Today we want to talk to you a little bit about translational lift. And so we wanted to come out to the helicopter. We got uh, 226 Whiskey Mike here. It's a Robinson R22. And the reason we wanted to show you the helicopter is because we wanted to show you the difference between what it looks like in a hover as opposed to what actually translational lift is. So translational lift is the increase in performance of the rotor blade system with as little as one knot of wind. So it typically goes up to about 45 knots right around there before drag starts to interfere with the increased performance. So this is what the rotor blade system is going to look like from a hover. You can see I'm pulling a lot of power and a lot of pitch and what happens is the in a hover we have a lot of vortices so the air is coming from directly above it's pulling it in and when we have a little bit of wind coming toward us it's more horizontal and so we're getting an increase in performance in the helicopter because the wind is more horizontal so we're going to show you a little clip of a takeoff with Tyson Ficklin who's one of our students um, taking off and it'll, hopefully that'll show you a little bit more about the translational lift So, in that last video you just saw, you saw Tyson Ficklin take off in the R-22. We're sitting in the 44 now, and this is the manifold pressure gauge. As Tyson took off, that manifold pressure was about 21 and a half inches. And as he began to pick up airspeed, that manifold pressure reduced to about 20. And so that showed an increase in lift due to horizontal airflow through the rotor system. And that's translational lift. 